Hey, what's going on? I got a question for you. Do you believe in miracles? I tell you, it may not be a miracle, but this was definitely something that was of great fortune to me and the EB Mustang. Now you're wondering, well, what could that be? Ah, remember when I was going to put the radiator cover extensions, right? And I only had this piece, because American Muscle didn't send me that piece. As the universe would have it, <laughs> At the most recent Rides and Coffee at Detail Garage, I ended up running into some people who were admiring the EB Mustang here. And they had asked me something about putting the covers on, and I told them the funny story how I happened to only get one side. Come to find out, they got one side too. And the funny part was, guess what side they got? <laughs> That's right, they got the other side. So I got one side and they got the other. These people were nice enough to donate <laughs> this piece to the build here. So now I have both pieces. Would you look at that? I tell you, if that ain't a miracle, I don't know what is. <laughs> Ah, uh, so there you have it. That's how they, well, will look once I get them fastened. Now, if you remember correctly, these are not made for 18 and up cars. These are made for uh, 15 through 17. So there are some modifications that have, have to be made, uh, but I think it's pretty simple. And I've already kind of mocked these up before. Um, not, well, not this one, but this one. And I know that uh, I basically all I have to do is just move the hole where the hood stopper is, which is a little bit further down. Um, as it would have it, this side isn't uh, so bad. But what I've noticed is to install this, the hood prop has to actually kind of go through this hole and I have to make a little notch right here for it to, you know, fit. So that's the only thing I have to do on this side as far as I know. So pretty easy modifications and theoretically they should fit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna work on this side because this side's a little bit more straightforward. All I have to do, like I said, is trim this here and theoretically it should fit. So let's go work on that. So, I mean, this isn't gonna to take too much work. I just got like a round file here and I'm just gonna kinda of just grind down this part here. It should probably be easier if I had a drum on, but I do have a drum on, so I don't feel like getting it out. One second thought, I'm gonna go get the Dremel. Hold on. That don't look too bad. Let's go see if this actually made any difference. Well, it's closer than it was. This hole up here is a little off. Uh, let's see. I mean, honestly, we got another about quarter of an inch. It needs to move over, so. I guess this needs to come out a little bit more down here, so something like that. Take away all that material. Let's try that. <clears throat> Alright, it's looking a lot better. Let's go see, uh, see how it fits. Oh man, it's so close. I mean, we're still about eighth of an inch off. So I'm gonna take some time here off camera and uh, kind of get this, uh, you know, taken care of. And then I'll come back once I think I figured this out. Well, here it is. The first 18 and up Mustang using 15 through 17 Mustang radiator extension covers. I think so. Maybe someone else has done this. I don't know. So, this side actually doesn't fit too bad. Now, I went and took care of this off camera. Um, I didn't want to bore you with it. Now, you can see that I'm sure originally this was supposed to go all the way over to the uh, fender, but you can see a little bit of a gap there. Not a big deal. This one fits mostly good. You can see that there was a little gap there, and then this piece here, it doesn't fit super snug, right? But for the most part, it's fine. This side was a little bit more of a pain because I had to make the whole figure here. If I didn't have the hood prop, if I had hood struts, I wouldn't even have to worry about that. 
but I did have to notch out the hole here for the uh, hood isolator, hood stopper. And otherwise, yeah, that's fine. This side just doesn't fit as nicely. Um, I still need to get push pins to go on these upper pieces. But yeah, I mean, really, if it could just like sit down like that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how, what I can do to get it to do that. Maybe some double-sided tape or something just to get it sit down like that. Um, then yeah, I think it would look all right. It doesn't look terrible. Like if this was trimmed up here more, um, and I'm not really good at doing that. I think it's just best to leave it just like that. But if these were trimmed, or it could sit up a little bit closer there, then that would work out a lot better. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. Not too bad. And thankfully, at this point, this was a free mod, so, you know, it, I'll take it for free, right? <laughs> so, I mean, sitting here looking at it, it don't look too bad. It definitely, I need to get the fitment just tweaked a little bit, you know? Like, if I think once I get the fitment just right, you know, these will look heck of a lot nicer. See, that's got to just sit down just like that somehow. But yeah, not bad for free. Well, that about takes care of all that and takes care of this video. So that will be it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. If you want to see more content like this and you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for next true car enthusiast video.